were very disturbed, very, very disturbed about what has happened at the Board of Election. All of a sudden, this past Monday, an additional two, almost 2,000 new petition challenges were added. And it's been over 30 days since the peti petition challenges have been filed. And then almost 2,000 were added just this past Monday. <clears throat> Something has presently occurred with the system at the Chicago Board of Elections. And then I did more research and I found out that the Chicago Board of Elections uses a joint system with Cook County. It is the Cook County's petition challenge system. And Cook County has access to make changes. They were not blocked from being able to make changes mm. to the petition challenges information for Chicago, even though the Cook County Board President, Tony Preckwinkle, is a part of this race. Mm. And, Cook, and the Information Systems Department for Cook County reports to Tony Preckwinkle. This is really a distracting ploy, and that's all it is, of a desperate candidate because she has fallen below at the records exam. We've concluded the original part of the records exam now. She is 1,173 signatures below the minimum, and that has nothing to do with any fraud on our part. I mean, she needs to be, she needs to woman up and be accountable for the deficiencies in her own petitions. Uh, the chief allegation seems to be that there were 2,000 objections added later in the process that's provably false, it's patently false. The objection was received on December 3rd and was served, uh, both objections in this case, uh, were served on the candidate on December 6th. Uh, they, the objections have not changed, there have not been any additions of any uh, you know, objections in this process. The county and the city cooperate because we also hear objections in other years for congressional candidates, state representative candidates, state senate candidates, where the districts straddle both the city and the county, so we have to be able to look up records from both Suburban Cook and the city. At no time in any of this process has the program changed the outcomes of any of the, the overrules or the sustained uh, objections.